On 20th February 2022, IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel of Climate Change, published the second part of the sixth major report on climate change. The report is written by 270 authors across 67 different countries and has analyzed more than 34,000 scientific papers. The report is several hundred pages long and it is impossible for me to summarize it in one short video, but I will do my best to convey the main ideas presented in this report. This report emphasizes the impact of climate change on societies as well as biodiversity and the interconnectedness between human civilization and natural ecosystems. Around 40% of the global population, which accounts to 3.3 billion people, are classified as highly vulnerable to climate change consequences. The alarming thing about this report is that it is written in present tense. This indicates that the impacts of climate change are not some you know, hypothetical or futuristic ideas, but it is something which is experienced by many people on this planet as we speak. Although the consequences of climate change affect everybody on this globe, they do not affect everyone equally. The consequences strike the hardest to people that fundamentally rely on nature, such as indigenous people and low-income populations, as they cannot financially cope with extreme weather events. Climate change is not just an environmental issue anymore, it is also a justice issue because people, the poorest people that are responsible for the lowest emissions of greenhouse gases will suffer the most because of the actions taken by people living in urbanized environments. If we keep emitting the way we are, the world is projected to reach an addition of 2.5 degrees of warming by the end of the century. Things like coral bleaching and melting of ice sheets is irreversible beyond 1.5 degrees of warming. It is estimated that 14% of species are at the risk of extinction if global temperatures exceed 1.5 degrees. And all of this biodiversity loss will fuel even more extreme weather events. When we talk about the impact of climate change, we often refer to a more physical level, right? Because extreme weather events and water scarcity and, and storms and floods and things like that. However, what makes this particular report very unique is that this is the first time in IPCC history that a report talks about the mental effects of climate change. Climate change is having a profound impact on the mental health of people as they are very anxious about their future. Now, this makes a lot of sense because you know, like I said in the beginning of the video, that around 40% of the world's population is, you know, classified as highly vulnerable to climate change impacts. And, you know, this 40% could be me, this 40% could be you as well. And hence, one can easily feel anxious of losing their life or the life of their loved ones because of most people's ignorance. This report provides a vast array of solutions to mitigate the impacts of climate change and urges people to implement nature-based solutions by establishing parks for local flora and fauna, green engineering, urban agriculture practices, and strengthening health security systems. We should break our dependence on fossil fuels, of course, and in worst case scenarios, at least 30% of all ecosystems on land as well as in water are to be preserved in order to allow the planet to heal itself. Those who pollute the most must be held accountable for their actions and should protect the poorest who are being hit hardest due to their emissions. This report also highlights two ways to go about this. Adaptation and mitigation. However, constantly investing in ideas that or innovations that help us adapt to whatever disasters the nature throws at us can only get us so far and you know it is a very short-term approach to this problem instead we should strive to combine both adaptation as well as mitigation to bring about transformational changes 
This holistic approach is called climate resilient development and this is arguably the key takeaway from this report. Although this report is very intense, it is important to take all of this as motivation rather than, you know, just bad news. Um, and we have to take action now and the more we wait, the more irreversible certain changes are going to get in the near future and they are going to impact all of us. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to the channel to let me know and I will see you in the next video.